Hi everyone, I hope you're all having a good week. I know things have been a little different this week. Everybody's working from home again and you're all going to school from home again. But that's okay, we're only gonna to have to do this for a little while as long as everybody follows the instructions. I'm still in Liverpool um, visiting family, which has been lovely. And one of the things I've been able to do while I'm here is I have had a chance to go for lots of great walks outside in the woods and I've had a chance to catch up on my reading. So when I read, I like to read before bed, but I don't like to have the whole bedroom lit. So I have this great little reading light. It even has a magnifier in case my eyes are tired. And I put it on my book. See, it has a clip. I put it on the back of my book like that. And then I put the button, push the button, see? Nothing happened. Hmm, I wonder why. Let's take a look. Oh, well that explains it. No batteries. So let's see, I have some sitting right here. So let's fix that. We'll put in my three batteries, just like so. And put the back on. And now we'll put this back on my book, just like that. And let's see what happens this time. Aha, see, two nice bright little lights. So when I read at night, I can see the words clearly. But it's really interesting that, you know, without the batteries, the light doesn't work, does it? We need to have a power source. Now, there's a story that Jesus tells the disciple it, disciples in the Gospel of John, chapter 15, verses 1 to 8. And he talks about the importance of staying connected to Jesus, what has to happen. And he used a grapevine to explain it. Now, you all know what a grapevine looks like, or you'll have some idea, you know, what a vine plant looks like with the long strands and everything's all connected and it's nice and green. And a grapevine grows grapes, right? But what happens when a branch or a, a piece of that vine comes off. So on one of my walks in the last couple of days, I came across this branch. You can see it's come off one of the fir trees probably, because we have lots of fir trees around. But you can see it's all dry and brittle. See, it breaks really, really easily. And so it's not very healthy anymore. It gets all withered up, can't grow leaves or needles or anything like that, no more Fruit will grow from its branches if it's from a fruit tree, and all you can really use it for is firewood. Now, Jesus said, I am the vine and you are the branches. If you remain in me, you will have much fruit, but apart from me, you can do nothing. Jesus wants us to produce fruit. Now, I don't know about you, but I cannot produce apples or bananas or anything like that. But those are not the sorts of fruits that Jesus is talking about. Jesus is talking about good fruits like kindness and generosity and faithfulness and love. He's talking about characteristics, the kind of people that we are. All of those things add up that all of those things that we are, those are all fruits that we produce when we are connected to Jesus. And so just like my light needs batteries as a power source, and just like the branches need to be connected to, so that it can, so they can be, you know, a nice healthy vine like this, we have to stay connected to Jesus to produce the good fruit that he wants us to. So this is why we need to stay connected through prayer and trying to live as Jesus taught us and doing all of those things. All of those things help us stay connected and produce that good fruit. So this week, see what fruit you can work on producing and see where it makes a difference because all of those good fruits make a big difference in the world. So stay safe, everyone. Take good care. Wear your masks, wash your hands, and God bless. We'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.